carry on um, the show is about loss it's about a child who goes into the city with a parent to see a marching band and enjoys the experience with their parent, and then later on loses that parent and reflects about the loss and seeing them again and the memories that they have with the parents um, the band actually starts with a block parade formation coming onto the field and we will have characters from the guards to be the father and the son and, and see the band for the first time and then as the as the show goes on and the loss occurs we will um, interpret that through our music and through our choreography with the guard and then at the end the band is back in that block formation, marching off the field, and that's the memory of the child when he was younger with, with his parent going to see that marching band. I love the music, it's my favorite part. <laughs> what do you like about it? Um, I think it sounds really nice, and I think, I think uh, Pitt has a really good part this year. We're definitely a big part of the show, and the marimba sounds nice with it. Uh, it's fun to play. I mean, yeah, new instrument, it sounds really nice, it sounds really pretty. This is probably one of my other favorite ones, other than the Latin one we did our freshman year. It's more, it's, there is more songs that people can relate to, that people know. I had never really heard of, of um, My Chemical Romance, but it's something that was familiar to the students. So I think they were excited about that. It's a lot of fun to spin to songs that you know, because you you can already imagine without learning your choreography, you know, what you can do. So it's really exciting when you have music that you kind of know already and, and can fit it into the theme. And yeah, they were super excited. And we try to listen for something that is um, appealing to the students as well as to the audience that we think that we can hear our students playing. Everyone plays the same rhythm there. Okay. Yeah, it's all through the wind. So flutes all the way down to tuba. is my only opportunity to have every single kid for six days. So we start band camp on a Sunday. Um, my main goal of band camp is to learn music and to learn drill. If we come away at the end of the week with the drill on the field, not necessarily putting the music to it, but they know where they're going, they know the basic concept behind it. Uh, we try to put some music with it, but rarely do we get all the way through. But a successful band came to me is all the drill on the shot, on the field, um, the kids knowing most of the music, and then we can start putting everything together and finalize the product from there. Ready, go, one. Ready, go, one. Do that again. Like, you can do a lot. Like, we're telling you to stay firm so that when you show emotion, like, the band feels it. Because you're going to help control the band. So, like, if you're up there, like, strong, like, they're going to be like, yeah, power. And you're just like, maybe you don't stand exactly like that on the podium, but you get what I'm saying. So, it, I know I'm just saying practice, 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 but that is really what it is. And I, I'm gonna give you a sticker because 
you really are Thanks, doing a super job. <laughs> I know that's super cheesy, but Thanks. like, just keep going. And if if I annoy you too much or you're freaking out and I'm giving too much information, you can tell me to go away. No, I appreciate. Like, really. you can tell me to go be with the saxes, though. I'm, I'm, I'm a tap here, <laughs> up here conducting. One thing that always impresses me about Belbury Kids at Bandcamp is their work ethic. Um, they work from early in the morning till late at night and very seldom do we hear complaints. And of course we take some time for some fun too and oh. reward them, you know, we try to do something fun every evening. <laughs> size of the senior class this year is how big the band was when they cut the band years ago. They had 11 people in the band. Oh wait, there's 11 the seniors? Carrie was in band. There was nine band members and four color So, a little bit bigger than what we are. Yeah, but I mean, you're big, yours is bigger than the instrument yeah. section, is what I'm saying. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, there was nine instrument players. Claudia, seniors! Paige, are you guys seniors? No. Do you not want to be senior? I don't. It feels awful. It feels weird to be senior. Oh, Natalie too. I'm sorry, okay, Natalie. Um, forgot you all. Sorry. It feels Bye. weird to be senior. Marching band has really helped me throughout the years. It's like helped me come out of my shell, and like even this year, I'm still coming out of my shell. So yeah. I'm Natalie. I've been in the band since fifth grade, and this is my first year in marching band. Um, I knew I wanted to do it since 7th grade, but I really wanted to take advantage of it and do it now because I knew I would not regret it and I knew this would be an enriching experience that I won't forget. And I am so happy to be doing this right now, so. Stop it! And I love all the people here, so. I love you! I'm not going to I love you! <laughs> Yep, I hope we get steak. I actually did it! <laughs> Belfry High School Golden Eagles Marching Band, Ryder Belfry, under the direction of William Van Gogh. took me into the city to see a marching band. That was a little shaky, but hopefully it's good. Compare this to the first performance. Um, musically better, marching probably could improve, so, we'll see. So, you threw up. I did, <laughs> yes. What was that like? Huh? What was that like? Uh, it was not interesting at all. So I pretended to play like half the show because I <laughs> just forgot, just forgot. She's being dramatic, we did fine. <laughs> Come on, 
the way that the OMEA system works is it, there's there's seven judges, five of which count for your final rating. And they're, they're a numerical rating between one and five, one being a, a superior and five being the, 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 the bottom. While all the performances were very good this evening, two of them achieved a one or superior rating and have thus qualified for the state OMEA marching finals. Those two bands are Ridgewood High School. Our goal is not trophies and it's not about always being the winner. Our, our goal is more about um, the progress from the beginning of the season to the end. Are they showing growth? Are they getting better musically? Are they getting better marching? And that's what we focus on with the kids. Just like our storyline goes, you never know when this might be the last time. You know, we have not had a performance yet this year where every single person has been here. But we're not letting that stop us. We will do whatever it takes. Nobody can hold us back but ourselves. So go out there, play your hearts out. There will be people in that stadium today who came just to see you on a cold day, on a rainy day, when they could be home still in bed. And I'm not just saying parents, I'm saying teachers, I'm saying fans that are in the stands here today to see you, when they could be doing so much other stuff. Make sure that you you pull it off for them and for you. When you come off the field, I want you to think that you've done the very best possible job that you can possibly do. Pride on three. One, two, three. Pride! One, two, three. Pride! One, two, three. Pride! Pride! When you rub against the wall and you cannot fall, so go on, go on. He said two to three minutes, and the head judge said we could probably relax and move around a little bit. That's all the In the first song, you guys did it really well, all of you, taking up more space. Last night, you blobbed again. So make sure you don't blob, okay? Try to get a little bit of field coverage in that beginning thing. Belpre High School, you may now take the field in OMA. Overall, it was a very solid performance. Uh, very pleased with the kids, very pleased with their efforts. Um, their choreography is starting to look really great. Um, it's always hard to tell down on the field, but I was very pleased with their show. Uh, when we came off the field, one of the Athens helpers that was along the sideline, he used to live in Belpre and his son went to Belpre. He said, if that's not a one, then I don't know what the judges are looking for because that was definitely one material. Now that's just a bystander watching. I mean, you know, who knows what the judges are thinking up in the press box, but uh, very excited. I think we continue to improve, and that's the goal of the whole thing, is to improve each and every time. We did, we did okay. Did okay? 
How'd you do? Yeah, I tired. Like, <laughs> That's not important. I think we did really good today. Today might be the day. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now ready. The Class C Awards are sponsored by the Ohio University School of Music. Best Auxiliary in Class C was Belfry. Yeah! Rounding out Class C, first in class, Belfry. Yeah! Now the following schools received a superior rating and are state qualifiers in no particular order. Wellston, <laughs> Newark, <laughs> Groveport, Madison, <laughs> Canal Winchester, Hilliard Darby, Pickerington North, and Owen Tangy Liberty. That completes the list of state workers. Are we felt good going into each show? Um, when we, we were again the only band in Class C at Athens. And when we came away off the field, we thought that the kids had done a pretty good job. I mean, we were, we were kind of, anticipating that that might be the weekend that we would qualify. But then when we got the feedback from the judges, um, it was a lot more critical than we were expecting. Um, we felt like we had some elements that were against us with weather and a late judge and things like that that kind of threw things off at the beginning. The kids performed great um, there. Um, and then we had a chance to meet with the judges afterwards and, and we'd seen our scores by that point. And frankly, we were all kind of mad, you know, because we thought, you know, we're just not, the kids are not getting the credit that they deserve for what they're doing on the field. You know, we all said it would be different if they went out and they had a horrible performance or something happened and, you know, the, it, it just was, it didn't go very well, but we had a strong performance. We felt like we had improved from the last week and the scores just didn't show that at all. What was even more frustrating was when we spoke with the judges about it, it was very much, well, you guys are doing a great job. Don't change a thing. You're doing awesome. So there was no constructive criticism. Well, if we keep doing what we're doing and we still get the same feedback from you that we're getting, that's not, that's not accomplishing our goals. We want to know from you exactly what can we do to step up to the next level. I didn't cry last night. <laughs> I mean, I probably cried in my sleep. I did not cry at sleep. I know. I'm surprised. I know, I am too. Good job. Yep. And then break down like all of us. Uh, what's going through my mind is if we're going to qualify for states, this is the last chance to do it because it's the last weekend. I will tell you going into that last competition at 6.30, uh, when we left at 6.30 in the morning, I will say that the kids probably worked the hardest that they worked the entire season the week before on the, just incorporating some of the changes, some of the, some of the um, critiques from the judge that, that we could add in a week again to try to get the best possible result the next time. They, you could tell, I think they were a little more nervous that morning. It was also super early, so they were <laughs> super tired. Well, and that <laughs> seemed to be the morning that we had all kind of, we got forgotten shoes, yes. forgotten <laughs> jackets, jacket. mm -hmm. all these things happened. And so they had nerves on top of nerves on top yeah. of nerves. So I would say a little bit of hesitation, a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of excitement, all rolled up into one. It is all in our hands, it is all in our hands. That's the 
bus right there. Yeah, so. morning then maybe this evening uh, hopefully nervous nervous focus 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 there is nothing to fear but fear itself so there's no reason to even be nervous you have to nail it from note one and how do you nail it from note one? Your horns are to your mouth, you have steady air, and you're ready to play. Breathing throughout the show. Clean entrances, clean releases. started cheering. I kind of teared up, so. <laughs> As a band, I think we sounded really solid. I think we did really yeah, good. Yeah, this might be the time. Oh. I'm so excited. I think, we, I think we did it. I still feel the first I can play any of it. I thought it was a very solid performance today. But they took our direction from the week very well. Let's see, see what happens. So. That's what I know. <laughs> First of all, when you come away with first place, 
then you know there's always that chance that you know this could be the one. So we came away with first place auxiliary percussion band in class C and then we got uh, grand champion B and C. So you're starting to feel pretty good because you know, you know you're at the top you're at least the top echelon of the B and C class. And now ladies and gentlemen the following nine bands have the overall superior rating. In the OMEA Take Marching Band Finals. When I see you again. It was. It's something I'll never forget. So talk to me about these kids. What do they mean to you? What do they mean to me? They mean everything to me. Um, you know, I don't have kids of my own. Um, they're, they're just like my kids. Uh, I would do anything for them. And I think in turn, they would do anything for me. You know, they know that I'm here, not only as their band director, but I'm here as a guidance counselor, I'm here as a role model, I'm here as whatever they need me to be. And I think they know that I have buy-in in them and in turn that gives them buy-in with me. You know, the one thing I stress is that we're all a family. And I, and I believe that, they are my family as well. Um, besides my real family, I mean, they're my family away from my family. It's very sad each year when a group of kids graduates um, you always think, you know, what are we going to do without these kids that graduated, you know, because even now we have nine kids that are graduating, all good kids, you know, how are we going to replace those nine kids? But every year, the underclassmen step it up, and really, you don't lose a thing. When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. He said, son, when you grow up, would you be the savior of the broken, the beaten and the damned? He said, will you defeat them, your demons? Plans that they have made Because 